The first patch of 2020 is here, but before we get too excited and start pulling for Christina or Glacier's companions, let's do some PDE stuff first. In this patch, we also got the Evil Castle update from floor 51 to 55. If you think floor 46 to 50 was easy, wait till you see what happens at floor 51 to 55. We just need to clear 5 floors to get all these rewards and this bonus bar at the side will fill up depending on the number of captains who complete the challenge. Therefore, this guide takes priority over summoning banners because we need to help everyone get to floor 55. Anyway, if you are stuck at any floors below floor 50, there is a guide to clear from floor 1 all the way to 55. Whoever you are, thank you so much for this. If you still have troubles clearing, you can also check out Fukuro's guide for Evil Castle and Campaign. I used to reference that a lot in the past. I'll link them all in the description below. Anyway, we will be following the Korean guide, but we must not blindly follow it. Therefore, as we clear, I will explain the genius behind the formations. Skip this part if you want to copy and paste formations and just move on with your life. But if you are here to learn, then keep on watching. I will break this video into two parts, the challenge clear and the points clear. In the challenge clear from floor 51 to 54, one of the challenge is to use 3 star or lower missionaries, meaning you can't even use ranked up natural 3 star units. They still have to be 3 stars for you to clear it. So if you just skip and look at the answers for these clears, they look retardedly simple, but they actually aren't. So if you are up for the challenge, I suggest you try a few rounds by yourself first before continuing this video. In all 5 floors, the basic minions are the Soul Incubus and the Soul Succubus. They have ridiculously high amount of HP regen, meaning you have to kill them in one shot or they will never die. Their temptation skill basically charms whoever they attack. For floor 51 to 54, there is the Soul Queen, and for floor 55, there is the Soul King. With these amount of stats, they are practically unkillable. The Queen does a lot of damage to the next missionary according to stats, while the King gives a godlike buff. Thankfully, they are supporters, so they die when the minions die. The trick to solving the flaws are very simple. Charm the second and later order attackers, who will then attack other enemies and charm them too. Lastly, just watch them kill themselves. For flaw 51, you want to identify a 3 star charmer and you place the unit to charm the second attacker. And this 3 star unit is none other than Mia. Mia has to be plus 6 to get the 6 turns charm instead of 4 turns. But like most units in this tutorial, you can leave her at level 1. So in this case, why Julie instead of Eras or Humor? First, Hyunwall needs to be awakened, which will fail the challenge because you need to rank him up. Eras gives immunity but not purify. Technically, it works, but I haven't found an alternative formation that could work with him. I always fail the deploy challenge because I needed to add an extra unit to clear. Their skills also affect the turn and damage the queen will do and somehow may not cause the queen to kill her minions. So long story short, just use Julie. For floor 52, we will introduce another 3 star unit, Siska. At level 1 plus 0, Siska's skill can silence enemies 
and also give them attack interference effects. The succubus also has a much lower attack compared to the incubus, so when their skills are silenced, they deal negligible damage. Floor 53 requires you to use a fodder unit that can either stun or freeze the front unit so that he doesn't attack while you charm the next attacker. Floor 54 requires you to use Natalie's Concentrated Fire to guide where the minion will attack next. Now we have come to the boss room, Floor 55. It is actually a really simple clear, using Ebony, Corret, Siska, we are now able to nullify skills, and upon charming the boss, the king will give his godly buff to you, and an easy clear lies ahead. Now that we have cleared the challenges, but on some floors, we won't have enough for the points, so I'll show you the best forms and my alternate formation to clear. For floor 51, it seems like the best is a solo Angelica. Here is my formation. I needed to kill the bad units, and I also wanted to prove that the boss can't be killed. Maybe with Levia? I'm not sure since I don't really have her, so I can't try using Levia to kill the boss. For floor 52, for now, it seems like the best way to clear it is to kill and bomb everything. But there are other easier ways to clear. Here are some of the ways. For floor 53, the best way seems to be another solo Angelica or this. My alternate form requires a plus 12 Dalvi. So in the previous floor, floor 52, you need a plus 10 Dalvi. But for floor 53, you need Dalvi to have the extra immunity turn. Floor 54 can be cleared using a very similar format, and here is my alternate formation. On the side note, 
this helped me to get 10k achievement points. I can't bear to break this nice number by pressing those exclamation marks. So we'll just leave it as 10k. That's all I have for you today. See you at the top of Evil Castle. And let's collect our bonus diamonds together.